Hello everyone, I'm the Nerdy Plane. Welcome to today's video. Today I will be redoing one of my tutorials um, where I was showing you how to add um, a plane into, uh, install a plane into FS 2004. Uh, today I'm going to do it in 1080p, so full HD, uh, because it'll just look nicer. Um, so firstly what you're going to want to do is open up um, your web browser. Um, and obviously you're going to want to download the plane that you want to add on. Um, now I've created my own site um, called the nerdy plane website dot wordpress dot com uh, and then type in forward slash fs9 add-ons and then hit enter. Um, so this is my website here and I have actually made a few of my own add-ons um, so what you're going to want to do is just choose one of them to download so once you've downloaded it you will then want to um, close your web browser and open up your file explorer now it's not just uh, planes from my website that work you can there are loads of websites out there on the internet that provide um, add-on planes um, that's just my one. So anyway, um, open up your downloads folder, which will be found there if you're on Windows 10 or maybe some other operating systems, or you might find it down find it down this site. And then you're going to um, want to go to um, your new zip folder. Now, if you were using a different web browser where you have to save a file to a certain place, you might not have chose to save it in um, the downloads folder. So just go to wherever you saved it. Um, and open the zip file um, and then you can close that for the moment and you'll see the zip file will look slightly like this there might also be a readme um, text file there maybe a few pictures um, there might not be the effects or gorges but basically you'll know that it's correct because you go into the one that isn't gorges effects or any of those readmes or pictures and it will have the layout of model, panel, sound, texture, aircraft.cfg, and um, an air file, an Adobe air file. Um, you will also then have the gorges, which are just like the custom instruments. Um, of, of course, they're not real gorges. I just created this whole folder for the tutorial, and then you have the effects folder as well. So, um, firstly, you're going to want this plane underscore new. So, what you're going to want to do is open up your file explorer go over to your C drive which might be found in this PC and then Windows C over to program files or if you have a program files x86 it's probably going to be program files x86 or to wherever you installed flight simulator itself to uh, so it's one of those program files for um, by default and then Microsoft games uh, and then Flight Simulator 9 and it should look like this uh, so then you're going to want to um, to um, head over to your zip file again uh, and you're actually going to want to get this whole plane dot new or pl the new plane thing with the um, model and all of that you're going to want to drag that whole folder into your aircraft folder now this is not a um, real aircraft folder, I also just created this one for the sake of the tutorial, but it does work. So drag plane.new into there. Now usually you'll um, get a question asking uh, you if you want to do that, um, just to make changes to the hard drive or something like that. Uh, do click yes because you know it's you that's doing it. So next you're going to want to go back and into the gorges. Um, and this is for only if you had a gorgeous folder with the download. If you didn't, then don't worry. Uh, but just open up all of the gorgeous. Now, there will be loads of gorgeous here in actual Flight Simulator folder. Uh, but just um, pretend there are here as well. So you're going to drag all of those gorgeous into the gorgeous folder. Once again, it will ask you if you want to make the changes. Just click on yes. Um, now you're going to want to head into effects for if there were effects with your download. Now effects are kind of maybe what 
if a plane looks like if it's taking off from a bumpy mud surface or what happens when it touches water things like that and drag the effects into the effects folder once again normal flight simulator 2004 files will have lots of effects in it already um, anyway once you've done that you are now ready to go unless there are any other folders which um, just read the readme just in case there is anything that is slightly different from a certain add-on that you've got but anyway once you've done that you are then ready to go and launch flight simulator 2004 and you will have your new um, add-ons ready so for now thank you for watching this video i would hope to see you in another video don't forget to thumb it up um you you can put a comment in the comments description if you want oh uh, not comments description comments section and in there you can maybe write um thank you um or mainly if you have any recommendations for me um or if you want to know how to do something in flight simulator or anything to do with computers because I do any tutorials just put them in the comment section I'll read them and try to make a video for you uh, also don't forget to subscribe uh, but for now see you in another video hopefully